to stand in our way and, and slow us down. Uh, we're going to keep uh, we're going to keep fighting. Let me just add one more comment before we go to the slides. Uh, at that same hearing, uh, and this is not in any way exclusive of scholarship and expertise, but there are a lot of other points of view we could add to this. But I, I pulled this out of a, a file today. Martin Bailey, who works for the um, Brookings Institution, said in a summation of his testimony, he said the steps, and I'm quoting from the first page of his testimony that same day, December 16th, quote, the steps that have been taken to turn the economy around are succeeding. Unemployment is still too high. The recovery is uh, fragile. But the economy is moving in the right direction. And he goes on to say uh, some other things. And I also thought it was important that he point, pointed out this. We've heard these numbers before, but we cannot say this enough in terms of where we are, where we were under President Bush and where we were under the last Democratic president, President Clinton. And I think where we need to get to. Here's what he said about the time period January 89 to January 93. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll go back, I'll go to the, uh, the more recent uh, eight year time period. When you look at the eight years from January 01 to January 2009, uh, President Bush's eight years in office, the net increase in jobs was only 1.9 million at a rate of 19,000 a month. So the net increase under President Bush is basically two million jobs over eight years, averaging 19,000 a month. Uh, not good enough, and that's an understatement. What was it under President Clinton, uh, the last Democratic president? The payroll employment increased by 22.7 million jobs from January 93 uh, through January 2001. 237,000 jobs a month. So basically you're saying, when you're comparing the eight years, you're, you're basically comparing 23 million jobs created under President Clinton, 20 or 2 million jobs created, net jobs created <coughs> under uh, President uh, Bush. So for those who say that uh, you know, Democrats uh, are on the wrong path, I would submit that we have an eight year period to compare in terms of job growth, and we also have even in 2009, even as bad as things remain for a lot of families, we have a pretty good comparison about uh, changes in, in job growth just in the last uh, year. Uh, and I'll, I'll conclude with this and then we'll go to the slides. Uh, Mr. Bailey says, this is on page three, just below, a paragraph below the, uh, the job numbers over those eight year time periods. He said, quote, last March, the dangers of a depression were real March of 2009, the dangers of a depression, not recession, depression, were real and urgent, and so was the danger of a collapse of the financial system. So in the face of all that, in the face of a depression, and in the face of a collapse of the financial system, we still had uh, Republicans saying no, no to the recovery bill. And then he goes on to say, now the questions are around the speed of the recovery and how soon employment and, in and incomes will start to grow again, unquote. So we do have a long way to go, but I think we've made progress. Let's go to the first.